Hey everyone and welcome back to another video from Inside Wire. So you've decided to buy yourself an Apple Watch and you're thinking, what's next? In the decision matrix that is choosing an Apple Watch, there are a few decisions you need to make. So do you go 40 or 44 mil? And do you go GPS or GPS plus cellular? There are a few other options in terms of straps and finishes, but I'm not gonna go into that into this video. Before we deep dive into this topic, be sure to hit that subscribe button and like if you've enjoyed this video at the end. Also, all the products are in the description below, so feel free to check them out. If you are still not sure on the three different models that are currently out there, that is the Series 6, the SE, and also the Series 3, have a little look at the video popping up on the screen now where I break down the specs of each model. So I think the first decision is quite easy. It's a case of what size do you buy? Do you buy the 40 mil or the 44 mil? So here's a little look at the two different sizes on my wrist. So here are the two different models. On the right hand side, you have the 44 millimeter GPS plus cellular. And on the left hand side, you have the 40 millimeter GPS. Uh, just looking at them just initially to tell the difference between GPS and GPS plus cellular. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but on that one, you have a red crown for the GPS plus cellular. And on this one, it is just the standard one. So if you ever see someone with a red crown, you know they have the cellular model. Now the more burning question is, which model do you buy next? Do you buy the GPS or do you buy the cellular? And yes, the GPS is included in the cellular. It's just the way I'm gonna be differentiating between the two in this video. So let's break this down. Let's look at this in a couple of areas. Number one being the functionality of the cellular model over the GPS and number two, the cost and then the ongoing costs. So let's start with functionality. And the question is, what more functionality do you get in the cellular model over the GPS? The most obvious one would be you can make phone calls, you can use the speaker right on the Apple Watch itself to have a conversation, or you can connect it with your AirPods or Bluetooth headphones. Secondly, you can continue to stream Apple Music from wherever you are. However, with the GPS model, you would need to download them locally first and then listen to them while you're out and about. The reason I only say Apple Music and not any streaming services is because currently there's no support for third party streaming services on the Apple Watch. So if you're subscribed to Spotify, unfortunately that probably wouldn't work. Three, you still get your notifications. So whether that would be SMS, iMessage, email notifications, you still receive them and you are able to respond to them. Number four, you're still able to use Siri, so perhaps you could use this for directions to find the nearest coffee shop or petrol station, wherever you're looking to go. Number five is access to the home app. So you're still able to access your favorites so you can execute any scenes you have. Number six, you're able to view your reminders without having your phone on you and you can add and remove also as well. This isn't really a functionality, but Apple claims to have the same battery life on both the cellular and GPS model. It comes in quote unquote up to 18 hours, but there's no doubt that the cellular model will probably use more power. So now we look at the cost. So the cost of the cellular model is hundred pounds or dollars more than the GPS, but that's not all. Be sure to speak to your service provider about the cellular model and find out what the cost is for adding this to your Apple watch. So those viewers in the UK, I am with O2, so let's take a look at some of the plans. So to set up a cellular plan, you would go to the watch and then you go to mobile data, set up mobile data and click set up mobile data down here. This then takes you to your um, service provider. So once you've logged in, you can actually see there's only one plan here, which is a SIM only unlimited data. So this costs five pound per month. So you can just select this, click next, and that will get applied to your bill. Also do note, you must have the same provider as your phone. So I can't be with O2 for my phone and another provider for my watch. They need to be exactly the same. So the cost of the watch, the minimum price would be 479, depending on some of the other choices you make plus the additional five pound a month for the cellular service. So let's say for example, you keep the watch for the life of two years, that's five times 24, which is 120 pounds. So your Apple watch actually ends up costing you a minimum of 599. So the question is, does the cost outweigh the benefits? Do you keep your phone on you most of the time? If so, you're probably gonna keep your watch paired with your phone, so you're not really gonna need the cellular model. 
On the other hand, if you're in a job where you need to keep your phone away for most of the time, then maybe the cellular model is for you. Either way, drop me a comment in the section below and let me know what model you bought and why. And if you want to see more comparison videos like this, just drop me a comment below. Again, before I disappear, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification when I upload more content. The links to all products are in the description below, so feel free to check them out. This is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.